<laughs> at number yeah. 10, the Washington Commanders. Sam Howell, I've said at the beginning of the year, man, I don't even know why I said it, but I'm, I must be freaking psychic. I think this is going to be the year where another quarterback name is added to the elite list of the Joe Burrows before he played like crap. The Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Trevor Lawrence, Sam Howell? He's going to be added in right there. He's going to be slid in, man, like, like a chess piece, just strategically placed there. And that's a top 10 offense with a top 10 defense, number one defensive line. If they can get the consistency shaped around squared up, this team is – I'm not going to say anything super dumb, but if they can smooth them <laughs> edges, dude, yeah. the Washington Commanders can play with anybody. And we'll figure that well, out next week. And here's the thing. You mentioned the stars, right? You, you talked about, uh, you know, uh, pain and um, all the guys on the, the defensive line, all those number one picks. But I can tell you, to me, the difference this year is, is not necessarily those guys, but you look at Jamin Davis and you look at Cameron Stepping Curl. Stepping up. Yes, these role players that, that fit into a, a particular slot are doing incredibly well. Jamin Davis, he, people forget, but he started one year in college. That's it. So you know now that he, he he there's they saw so much potential in him they draft him they it's bring paying him in off. he's starting right he's starting to get all these reps because that's what the difference is he didn't have all those in college agreed so how about um let's t- and we're not going over every teams but let's go over Washington versus the Bills next week I was looking at this because I said a thousand times Sam Howell looks like a smaller version of Josh Allen and they will play on and they're going to square off Josh Allen looked like crap week one came and looked like a normal Josh Allen week two. Obviously, everybody's picking the Bills to win, but I've got a weird Not feeling, everybody. dude. I've got a weird feeling where I think if the Bills win, it's going to be close. I think this is a measuring stick game for the Washington Commanders, and if they if they lose by less than 10, I think it'll be, wow, great job, and I believe that that'll, uh, that'll put their name up there. Yeah, if, if these two teams would have played last year <clears> – <throat> I would have said the only way that Washington could win this game is if they were dirtier. They um, were getting in the trenches, smash mouth, old school football. But this year, they, Washington doesn't have to be. They, they're capable they're of doing that. If you look at that um, defensive line, Washington's offensive line needs a little help. But the defensive line, it's top three in football. Um, and you've got a quarterback now that can beat you with his arm or his legs. Agreed. So, yeah, and and very smart. He hasn't made but a couple of bad decisions. I think he's got um, a total of four touchdowns, uh, one run and three passing, and he's got one interception, I think. that That's a good combination to win a lot of games. I'm not saying I'm picking Washington to win, but I can tell you if Washington wins this game, I won't be surprised at all. 